is, and here we are. Just exactly what I didn't want. The wind is up, and it's snowing and blowing so hard to the south here that they're talking about canceling this leg of the race, having us all move down to East Grand Forks. Well, I, for one, ain't getting my hopes up. This race has never been canceled yet. So we'll just have to stand around and wait for them to tell us what we all know they're going to tell us. And it's cold. I mean, talk about your brass monkeys. It's got to be 30 below. And that wind makes you feel like you're in your skivvies. There was some question this morning at 8.30 when the race was scheduled to start as to whether they could have an observation plane that would function or not to survey the machine for safety's sake. So here comes the word. Gentlemen, start your engine. Just like I said, this is one race they never canceled. There are 374 of us, so they're going to have to start us off and wait. The report's coming in throughout today. The riders are on the starting line waiting for the signal. The signal will be given shortly. Close and there's nothing you can do about it. 
You wonder how they made it. And there's a lot of mailboxes and fence posts back there that'll never be the same. Some of the drivers a little ding too. Well, about two miles out of Winnipeg, uh, <clears throat> I flipped off and busted my goggles as I ran the whole, the whole rest of the way without any goggles. And about halfway through, then I flipped it again and busted the windshield, and then I didn't have nothing. How do you feel? All right. What, what, what did they do to you at the hospital? Uh, told me I shouldn't shouldn't run tomorrow. Well, are you gonna run tomorrow? I was planning on it. It is gonna be a bit of the most drivers and expected in this morning, I'll tell you. Well below, 25 mile an hour winds. Don't put some frost on your mustache. some way to put the two sleds together, you know, like a hybrid. Keep the flat-out speed of the El Tigre, but give me the ride of the Panther. Then I bet we'd have her whip. Even though this was one of the all-time gut-busting races, we still did pretty good. Wayne Connickson and Richie Porter finished right up there, and we did work out a new suspension. But if we can lick this one little problem, just make a machine with a smooth ride and a lot of zip, well, then we'd all be smiling for those cameras cashing those winners, Jet. All we need is some way to put the El Tigre and the Panther together. Now, that may seem like a lot to ask, but after all, 
We're already capped. We owe it to the industry. If we don't keep improving, what are those other guys going to have to copy? <laughs>